It won't take me two shakes to finish my business in the bank. You better get some cash, Dad. We're going to do the shops and the nightclubs before we go back to the ranch. <laughs> I'll cash the whole two bags. Don't you think $20,000 is an awful lot of money to carry around? I feel much safer when it's right here in my pocket. Pardon me, ma'am. Strangers in town? Why, yes. You're from the Cross Direct Ranch in Texas. This is my first trip east. You know, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation that you'd like to take in some nightclubs. I'd be pleased to show it to the farmer. Well, that's grand of you. Is your cab engaged for the afternoon? No, ma'am. Then you're hired. Thank you. I've engaged the cab for the whole afternoon, and the first thing we're going to do is go to a shop where I can buy an evening gown. You mean one of those contraptions that about half covers you? Exactly, and you're going to get one Oh, of there. I know, city dude. They ain't going to wear one of those swallowtail suits. That's what you think. Come on. Well, I'll admit it. 
footage of. I could use a man like that in the crossbar X. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm certainly glad you enjoyed the show. Now, perhaps there's one among you who would like to contribute to it. You know, sort of, let's all get together and have lots of fun. Now, I'm not asking this in the spirit of competition, but as an invitation from the management uh, for one of you, Westerners, perhaps, who also have used a six gun. Now, is there anybody here in the house who'd like to step forward? How about it, Dad? Shall I get up there and show them some real shooting? Don't be foolish. This is my night. You said I could do anything I wanted to. Well, Ann, you can't. I... Why, we have a young lady. And a very charming one at that. How do you do, miss? How do you do? And what is your name, please? Ann Merwin from the Cross Bar Ranch in Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting that very charming Ann Merwin, the Bar X Ranch way down yonder in Texas. Miss Merle. How do you do? How do you do? Wait. See that old gent sitting around the table near the wall? Yeah. That's him. All right. Graham. This is a single action cold but you're probably used to handling that kind of a gun. Yes, I am. You've got a fine trigger, so watch it. You bet. Do you mind holding up some of those chips? Why, I'm good. Huh? Me? No, no, no. I positively won't do it. No, I wouldn't. Under no circumstances. I... No. Please do. No. Oh, I'd rather not. Well, <clears throat> the other things I'd rather do, I... Pardon me, you have previously been successful with this sort of thing? wallet. 
Well, if it ain't Bet Kruger, we've been looking for you for a long time. You'll have to sign a complaint. I have some business with Mr. Barton. As soon as I finish, I'll go down to the station. Right. Come on. Thanks. Won't you sit down, please? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Sit down there. Thank you. You know, that draw was so quick I couldn't follow it with my eye. How long does your engagement run here? Till the end of the week. I've got a proposition to make to you. If you were a Western man, all I'd have to mention is water rights. Well, I might tell you I was raised on a ranch in Wyoming. Well, that simplifies things. Best water rights in Texas are on my land. Somebody trying to take them away from you? A fellow named uh, Nate Welch. He's turned loose a bunch of gunslingers. And if they're not stopped, the small rancher will have to sell out of his price. Why don't you appeal to the law? Well, we are. There isn't any law. What I need is a man that isn't afraid to handle a gun like you can. Mm. But you need to kill her. Don't you see you can prevent a lot of wholesale killings by helping Dad? I've never hired out my guns to anybody. Well, I wouldn't ask you if we were the only ones concerned. Where are you located? Hammond, Texas. Buddy in town will tell you how to get to my spread. You mean you'll really come? Patty and I will be out there next week with things over. down alongside of me. I might take a chance. But you promise now. 
Come on, come on, I promise. No, now if I do this and you don't give him back his money, I'm going to tell him you cheated. All I want out of this is a laugh. You sure it'll be all right? Sure. When I grabbed Smith, he was on his way to work for a rancher named Welch in the Big Bend country. Nate Welch? Do you know him? I've heard of him, but never laid eyes on him. Now, I feel kind of guilty even fooling him just for a minute. There you are. You can have the key. Well, I'll see you later. the aisle, we get a laugh. Oh. So you were talking to Bethia's pal that he couldn't escape from a pair of handcuffs. So we put it over on him. He dropped his key, and I... You don't mean to say you set him free? Well, yeah. You fool, free. don't you know that's a murder? Yes. Yeah, what? Get a doctor, somebody. Run through the train, see if you can find a doctor. Yeah. Oh. There she comes, mate. Hey, there's Merwin and his daughter. Wonder what they're here for. Single shot Smith's the one I'm interested in. I sent for him sight unseen when I learned he was the fastest man with a gun in Texas. Mm -hmm. Well, with his help, we ought to clean out that crossbar act right pronto. Just knowing he's here. I wonder if Welch is importing new riders. Well, you look a little different than I thought you would, single shot. Hey, uh, wait. You must be Welch. Yeah. Come on over to the cactus saloon and have a little something to wash the dust out of your throat. Been expecting you any day. We're glad you showed up. Hey, you're going to like working for this house. Take it easy. I never thought he'd do a thing like that. I thought we could depend on him. Don't worry. It isn't the first time I've been sold out. All right, boys. Everything's on me. You get kind of right, Jake. Uh, uh, waiter, may I order a... Wait a minute. Pa pardon me. Waiter, uh, please. Uh, may I have a beer? Uh, oh, my drab, you plus. Waiter, I I'd like to have a drink. You don't look it, but if what I've heard of you is true, you're better than a wild Bill Hickok was. That's where I go some sense. Not trying to go around and look like a gunfighter. Yeah, you're a bright fellow, Smith. Most gunslingers go around and give themselves away. Thanks. Hey, how, how about me having a drink? I'm starting. Oh, all right. Bartender. One beer. Here. This fellow with you? Yes, he helped me break out of jail up in Kansas one time. Wait a minute. You and I were That's never... Never act kind of dumb. I think he was dropped on his head when he was a child. Hey, where's Newt? Newt who? I tell you, he was dumb. He wants to take on Newt and the whole outfit right now. He thinks he can end this war before it starts. Look here, Will. There's a lot of money offered for me, dead or alive. These people know it. So if there's anybody in your outfit who can't trust 100%, we've got to get rid of it. You don't need to worry about getting plugged in the back. All of my men are wanted men. They're not out to collect rewards off of anybody. Well, I don't like the way you work. You're too careless. There won't be any slip-up, single shot. Well, let me cite this one incident to you. Nobody here ever laid eyes on single shot Smith before today. Yet what do you do? Accept me at face value? Ever ask me to prove anything? Well, just ask me in to have a drink, that's all. Got too much confidence to suit me. 
Well, since you beat me by a split second in bringing up the matter, suppose you prove that you are single shot, Smith. Patty doesn't seem to be the only one that's dumb. Now, you don't suppose I'd be carrying identification papers with me, do you? And how are you going to prove it? With this. You fellas know that single shot Smith's supposed to be one of the best gunmen in the state of Texas. That was. Get a handful of chips over there and stand back against that table. Get out back there, boy. Get out of my line of fire. Partner. Yeah, if you told me you were Billy the Kid come back to life, I'd have to believe you. Well, the drink's on me, boys. <laughs> Another ride. Come on up there. Yeah, yeah. No. Come on up there. I'll take it. Come on up there. Aside from Slim, you're the only man that's ever been in this room. Well, just why am I so honored? Because I can use you. With the power I have behind me, I can make men and I can break them. I'm trusting you because that's the only way we can do business together. If I happen to be mistaken in you, it won't take me long to know it. Go on. Don't try to slip anything over on me. Two men have tried that before. Just what part do I play in all this? You're going to make it so tough for the ranchers to run their business around here that they'll be willing to listen to reason. In other words, you want me to have this bunch of gunmen, is that it? That's it. Everything's mapped out for you. I've got a sort of foreign legion. There's but one question asked when a recruit joins us. Are you wanted by the law? Mm. So if a man wants to quit, you've got him between two fires. You and the law, eh? Take a look. This picture doesn't have to you just this limp. Uh, damn jail photographers don't know how to make those pictures. Here's one of Barnum McKee. He's one of the feds back in Leavenworth. Yeah, look him over for yourself. I suppose you've been photographed like this. So often that every time I see a camera, I start to pose. I want one of yours to add to the others. Sort of a hobby with me. Well, I'm not in the habit of carrying them around with me. In fact, I make it a habit to destroy every one I see. Maybe you know where you could dig one up. Probably get one all right, and they take a little time. It'll help a lot. Help you, and help me too. Got any plans for tomorrow? You can count me out. I want to ride around and get acquainted with it. You know, this range is new to me. Not a bad idea. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, I can see that. Well, see you later. What do you think of them? I ain't saying yet. Well, a few sticks of this ought to blow out the dam of the crossbar X water hole. Don't use it until we see what happens after we run off Mervyn's cattle tonight. Hey, there's that handcuffed guy that knocked out the ranger on the train. Hello there. I'm looking for Nate Welsh. I'm Nate Welsh. Well, I'm a little late, but I finally got here. I'm single shot Smith. I'm the President of the United States. That makes me Napoleon. 
I think I'm going to kind of like working for you. I don't know who you are, but you're not working here. Who are you? Maybe you wouldn't believe me if I told you I was single shot Smith. I've seen you someplace before. Sure you have. Every cheapskate that goes about the country masquerading a single shot Smith has seen me. Why, well, I'll kill you. Go ahead. Wait a minute. There's something screwy about this. One of you fellas is trying to put something over. Tie them both up until we find out what this is all about. I've got those guns. Be careful the way you do it. Now I remember where I saw you. I wouldn't remember too much if I were you. Get on that horse and get out of here. Any of the rest of you got any doubts about me? I like you all right, Smith. You just give us orders and watch us carry him out. I bet you clean old Mervyn out before he knows anything about it. All right, pick up your hardware. Oh, boy. I wish Newt Man could have seen this. <laughs> Say, what does he know about the Mervyns? Paddy's getting more ferocious every day. Yesterday he wanted to plug old Newt. Today he wants to shoot the girl, too. If we're going to take care of Merlin tonight, we'd better get moving. Yes. And be sure there's no slip-up. Get your horses. About one more remark like that out of you, and you'll have this whole outfit pumping lead into us. Yeah, but how can you help Ann by stealing a cow? Because I've got to keep in right with wealth. I tell you to keep your mouth shut while I'm gone, but I know it wouldn't do any good. Oh, I may be dumb, but I know when to talk and when to keep quiet. I doubt it. We picked this fellow up as he crossed the line from the Welsh ranch. That's Paddy Callahan. Barton's friend. He's trying to spy on us. No, I'm not a spy. And you know I like you. We don't want any of Tim Barton's men here. But I'm not with him anymore. He hired out to make Welsh and you went along with him. No, he made me go with him. I got away just as quick as I could. I wouldn't stick around with a guy like that. We found Shorty's body riddled with bullets. Now that's the reason he didn't warn us about the raid on the herd last night. Who read that raid? Tim Barton. And did he send you here to find out just what we're going to do about it? No, I left as quick as I could so that I could tell you where the cows were hid. Where? Well, I don't exactly remember it. Well, 
It's in a box canyon about ten miles the other side of Dark Creek. That's Latigo Canyon. Why don't you go right after them? Anybody guarding them? Yes, yeah, four of Welch's men. And listen, it'll be easy enough to find out whether he's lying now. Why don't you try it? Well, we're riding over there, and you're riding up in front. Where if they don't get you, we will. Get the rest of the boys. The canyon's right up over there, over that hill there. You boys go and see if you can't surprise them from the front. Come on, let's go. We're sure obligated to you, Patty. Ah, oh, shucks, that's nothing. You see, I like Anne. From now on, you're welcome to stay at the crossbar race. Now, you try to knock over the last two, hmm? That'll be very easy.
It must be the gun here. Yeah, sure. Not the man behind the gun. Well, of course. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a mechanical defect here. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I had that. Uh, I had that. Smith, I want you to meet my daughter, Ann. I do. Hello, single shot. What are you doing here, you little runt? Just a minute. Sadie happens to be a friend of ours. Yeah, and he's the partner of that fellow posing as me over at Welch's. Oh, no. I quit Barton because he stole Ann's cattle. I like Ann. That is a member of the Crossfire X Ranch now. I want you two fellas to be friends. Oh. 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 Say, didn't I help rescue you from that ranger on the train? Yeah. Don't you think you're making a mistake bringing this Smith here? He's a killer. That's what I need. I've got to fight fire with fire. Come on, Smith. I'm known as Single Shot Smith. This gent with me is Ben Thompson, sheriff in the county seat. How are you? Hi. Ben Smith? Yeah. How come you're passing yourself off as him? Well, Smith, the train I was on mistook me for Smith. So I just strung along with him to see what had happened. Smith showed up? He's around the country somewhere, but let him ride for a while. What do you mean? There are a lot of wanted men around this country, and if you cooperate with me, you can take them all in without any killing. Hello, I wish you would do that. Get a reward poster made for single shot Smith and put my picture on it. I brought you a little souvenir. You can have this to your collection. Want me to autograph it? Yes, you will. Why not? You know, you ought to have all the boys autograph there for you. That's a great idea. With the men I have working for me and a leader like you, I'll own the whole range in no time. The boys we left on guard at Latigo Canyon have been killed. All the cattle have been run off. How do you know? Well, I rode over there with Mike to take them some grub, but they won't need anything to eat no more. Somebody's going to pay for this, poor fellas. So I'm not thinking about the men. They ought to know enough to look after themselves. It's the herd of cattle I'm thinking of. Well, Callahan's been missing since yesterday. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you, Smith? I told him to get going. He's probably halfway across the state by now. No, no, he's not. He's over the cross bar X with that fellow that rode in here and said he was you. I've seen him myself just a couple of hours ago. I knew a fellow one time that lived to be a hundred by minding his own business. Why? The next time any of these gunmen try anything like that, I'm going to use a stick shooter on them instead of my fist. Remember, from now on, you're taking orders from me. Does that mean anything to you? You're going with me tonight. No, I ain't taking orders. Now, get going. Me. Remember, I've got another eye on the back of my head.
Hey, who's that? Slim wouldn't believe I had eyes in the back of my head. Dan? No. Sheriff in Dallas has still got a hanging job on his hands. Where's Smith? Got him tied up over there. Well, get him and follow me into town. I have a date with the sheriff and the rangers. single shot? You think I'm likely to forget the face of a man that slugged me? Did the bank agree to advance the reward money? Yes, Walker said it would be okay. These two ought to bring you quite a piece of change. You want it all in currency? No, just have Walker credit to my account. But tell him to keep his mouth shut. Say there are four more buried up at the head of Latigo Canyon. I'll have to look over the reward notices and I'll see whether they're worth digging up again or not. Cunningham wanted for robbery. One thousand dollars reward. Jake Crane. Murdered. Five thousand dollars. Booth Morgan. Bank holder. One thousand dollars. $10,000 buried in Latigo Canyon. Hello, mate. Do you know ever since that night that Slim tried to shoot you and then disappeared? There's been a lot of strange things going on around here. I'm not surprised. Not surprised when half a dozen of my men disappear into thin air? Well, they were all friends of Slim, so they just naturally followed in his footsteps. Is there anything you can't figure out? Yes. A girl. Who is she? Oh, her name doesn't matter. Somebody I knew back east. That's the reason I'm out here. Oh, forget it. Come on with me into Hammond. You know, Merwin's mixed up in this thing somewhere. I'm going to put a sprag in his wheel. Oh, hello, Nate. Good morning, Smith. Good morning. Good morning. What's the condition of the crossbar act loan? Interest paid up to date? Well, Merwin had a little more time. I, I'm sure he'll pull through all right. I asked you if the interest on his loan was paid in full to date. It isn't. Don't you think we can renew the note? I want you to foreclose immediately. I don't like to do that. You'll do it, and do it now. Unless you want me to appoint somebody else to take your job. A bad fellow. Single shot. He isn't Smith. He's a vaudeville actor. He's high up that heat. And if he was crooked enough to go over to your side, he's crooked enough to turn you down, too. Are you positive he's not Smith? Sure. His name's Tim Barton.
better put that in your pocket. That's a bad idea. Well, hello, Sheriff. When did you get down our way? A few days ago. So, uh, Smith, I want you to meet an old friend of mine. Thompson, this is Single Shot Smith. I think you are looking for him. I believe you're right. Put him out. You've got a reward coming for this. Oh, I'm always on the side of law and order. Smith, you're going to the Calaboo. When I get out, I'll take care of you. Come on. Had me stumped for a minute when he turned you in. It was a bigger surprise to me than it was to you. Think he's trying to move out? No, he's moving in. On the Merwin. We've got to work fast. Take a look at these. Putting him there and keeping him there is two different things. How to get out? Habeas corpus. Got a smart lawyer before I can move him out of town. Twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Thank you, sir. Now what's the next bid? Will somebody else give me a bid? I've got a bid of twenty-two thousand dollars. Can I have another bid? Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand dollars, sir. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you, sir. Twenty-four. Can I hear twenty-five? Can I hear twenty-five thousand dollars? Will somebody say $25,000? $25,000. Wilkes is stealing one of the best ranches in the country. $25,000, thank you, sir. Now can I hear $26,000? Will somebody say $26,000? Can I hear $26,000 once? Can I hear $26,000? $26,000. I'm bid $26,000. I'm bid $26,000 and it's going. It's going once. It's going twice. Make him show cash or a certified check. Hey, buddy, do you mind stepping up here and give us a peek at your cash? Now, don't move anybody. First man that moves gets a bullet. Oh, Sheriff? It's about time we collected. You take down the amounts as I read them off. As I call your names, you sort of step up here. Mike Brown. Wanted for murder. $2,500. Leif Golden. Dead or alive, $6,000. Jack Green. Let's see. What's on him? Pete O'Hara. $500 reward. You must feel kind of cheap in this outfit. <laughs> Now, Nate Welch, step up here. Now, 
I'm swearing out two warrants for you. One for cattle rustling, and the other for killing that crossbar ex cowpuncher. That'll be first degree murder. <laughs> You're a couple of thousand dollars short on your bid, young fella. No, oh, that's right. Say, what about those four fellows buried up in Latigo Canyon? I figured up the reward on them that was $10,000. Say, that'll give you $8,000 for operating expenses. Newt Merwin, would you mind stepping up here, please? Sale Newt Merwin. I was bidding this in for him and his daughter. I couldn't let you do a thing like that. You're a level-headed young lady, but a very stubborn one. The crossbar X belongs to you. I only promised to come out here and help you straighten things out. Couldn't you stay now and help us keep you straight? Can you cook? Thank uh -huh.